Several months ago, we began talking about uh, the bargaining of the sale of Vista Outdoors, the largest ammo producer in the U.S. of civilian ammo, to the Czechoslovak group. And now there's quite a bit going on with the value and the cost of the company going to up quite a bit and we'll talk about prices and who's going to benefit from this. Meanwhile, they seem to be quietly shutting offices as they're trying to sell themselves off. There's a lot going on here and we're going to wrap our heads around all of it. But before we do, I do want to take a moment and thank our sponsor, ES Power Drink, because ES Power Drink is the only thing that I have seen out there that has Trinidad scorpion peppers in it yet I can put it down. Now, why would I want to do that? Well, there are several reasons. Number one, uh, you build a tolerance for it. It gets to the point where you can eat hotter and hotter things, and eventually maybe you could chow on a Trinidad scorpion pepper. But the main reason is because of the health benefits it gives me. It heats my body up. Um, it gives me really kind of a boost like a workout would do. And as many of you may or may not have noticed, I've lost 40 pounds. Well, almost 40 pounds. I'm at about 39 pounds, but almost 40 pounds. And I did it specifically because I was having some heart issues. A friend of mine makes this drink. Now, what I want to say about them is, you know, it's a friend of mine making it. So it's not like he's a big company, but what he's done is really trying to reduce the cost because it's pretty expensive to put Trinidad Scorpion Peppers in a drink that you can put down bottle it, ship it, all that stuff. Um, so what he's done is really quite brilliant because EO stands for every Sunday and now you can do it every single day and it's cheaper. And how that works is ultimately he's made these ice chips. It's a packaged chip that you just put in your freezer once a day, you chow on it, you get the same benefits, but you're doing it every day as well as put them in K-cups. I prefer it be freshly brewed personally. I think it tastes a lot better than the bottled, just my personal preference. And they have a combo pack. The health benefits are tremendous. I don't even think we're gonna begin to really wrap our heads around the health benefits that we can get by eating a lot of these super hot peppers that you know I just simply would not. That link is below. All right, so what's going on? Well. Ultimately, Vista Outdoors has been propositioned by the Czechoslovak group uh, for quite some time now, and it's kind of gone back and forth, this sale. Recently, they've upped the offer from $1.8 billion to $2.15 billion, also giving stockholders an additional $125 million in shares, taking their share values from $3 to $24. So shareholders are gonna be making out really nicely. But in addition to that, they're giving them, they're offering to give them every share for share of the Revelist company. And Revelist is of course the kind of the umbrella company. It's what they rebranded Vista Outdoors to. It's got a lot of different outdoor brands under it like Fox, Bushnell, Bell, Eero, and it's under the New York Stock Exchange under gear. They currently employ about 2,400 employees nationwide. Now, if you were to look at the Czechoslovak group, uh, this is a pretty sweet deal. They're offering them. I'm pretty sure this one's going to go through is my guess. However, I have great concerns and I voiced some of those concerns in previous videos, but let's just talk, let's just take a moment and talk about the Czechoslovak group. They have 10,000 employees and they market themselves as a global technology group in the heart of Europe, making ammo brands like Fiocchi. Now, that's really kind of their only ammo brand. Uh, it's a big one, but it's kind of the only one they run because mostly what they're making is trucks. Uh, they make military trucks. They, they have a, they have a department of defense, but it's trucks. And then they have a department under transportation and it's those same trucks just for civilians. Um, and then they have, which seems to be maybe radars or something like that, but that's ultimately what they make. They make trucks, trucks and Fiocchi. 
um, and some radar equipment possibly. And now what they're going to do is potentially take over the largest ammo producer in America. And it's, I believe it's most likely going to happen because in February, they began to close offices and very quietly, but they closed offices in California, Kansas, Colorado, Mississippi, and yet their brand is becoming more valuable, yet they're closing down really what seems to be mostly administrative things. They're not closing down factories, they're closing down offices. Um, my biggest concern of the sale of this is you're taking the control of the largest ammo producer in the U.S., civilian ammo producer in the U.S., that's very significant. Uh, we just saw what that looks like in an ammo shortage when people do like a mass buy. But if anything crazy happened in this country, you know, there's all sorts of rumors of wars and things like that. And you just, you never know what's going to happen in this country, but something crazy happens. Civilian ammo will be controlled by a company in Czechoslovakia and just kind of let that sink in for a second. Most of our ammo comes from the U.S. government, our small arms ammo comes from the U.S. government out of Lake City Ammo Plant, just right by me. That's why I kind of point it back that way. In addition to that, you would have the second or kind of maybe larger probably a little bit larger than that, but those are the two biggest ones. You got Vista Outdoors and you got Lake City Ammo. Lake City Ammo would be controlled by the government. Whenever they want to stop giving us ammo, they'll stop giving us ammo. The other one will be controlled by a company in Czechoslovakia. Um, I know there's a lot of smaller ammo producers in the U.S., but nothing like you put those two together and for whatever reason, either one of them decide we don't need ammo anymore. We're in a world of hurt. A world of hurt. There would be no way this the civilian aspect, which is what I strongly believe the armed civilian aspect of this country is what keeps this country free. And when you take the ammo out of the equation, this becomes a huge problem. Um, I know Congress has looked into the sale, but they don't seem to be stopping it. I highly recommend you reach out to your representatives, U.S. representatives, and tell them that you demand that they put an end to the sale of Vista Outdoors to an outside the country group, at the very least, to just simply protect our ability to have ammo. Um, I know a lot of you are going to say, well, I make my own ammo and, and, and that's probably going to work out. But as you saw, the first thing to go really in the ammo, it's things like primers <laughs> and that sort of thing. So you may be out of ammo before we're out of ammo. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But what I'm saying is it's going to be, if, if, the Czechoslovak group out of Czechoslovakia decides to shut us off, just turn the tap off is all they'd simply have to do. And if the U.S. government decides the same thing, they just turn that tap off. We are in a world of hurt. So it's very important, again, reach out to your local or your federal representatives, demand they put an end to the sale of Vista Outdoors to the Czechoslovak group. Thank you.